my left finger with bony fragment. In another terms, baseball finger or draw finger. Emphasize on the technique. Introduction. A finger deformity caused by a disruption of the terminal excisor tendon distal to the DIP joint. This disruption may be bony or tendinous. Epidemiology. Risk factors usually occur in the, occur in the work environment or during participation in sports. Common in young and middle-aged males or older females. Pathophysiology. Mechanism of injury. Traumatic impaction blow. Usually caused by a traumatic impaction blow. Example, sudden force flexion to the tip of the finger in the extended position. Or forces the IP joint into the force flexion. Dorsal laceration, the less common injury of the injury with a sharp or crushing type. The, in the mallet finger, Doyle's classification is very important. Notice the Doyle's classification. Type, type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4. Symptoms. Painful and swollen DIP joint following impaction injury of the finger. Physical exam. Inspection. Finger depressed at flexion, just like flexion contractor of the DIP joint. Approximate the 45 degrees flexion. Lack of active DIP extension is a, an, another important clue. Imaging. Radiographs usually see bony aneurysm fracture of the distal phalanx, maybe a tendinous injury with normal bony anatomy. Non-operative treatment extension splinting of GRP joint six to eight weeks for twenty-four hours daily. Indications acute soft tissue injury or non-displayed bony mallet injury. In our daily practice, operative treatment, we usually apply extension block pinning technique. The technique is just like that. The technique we can describe flexion of the DIP joint, inserting the car wire tangentially to the fracture from distal to the proximal direction, extend the DIP joint. This will uh, f uh, reduce the fracture under the car wire with the extension of the DIP. Fix the DIP joint in extension with another car wire, derived from the distal to the proximal direction. Describing the technique. Under fluoroscopic guidance, the distal interphalangeal joint is held in the maximum flexion. Notice the arrow. And one, one millimeter Kishner wire is passed to hold the extensor tendon into the middle flux, just proximal and dorsal to the bony fragment. Notice the figure. The distal phalanx is extended. Notice the arrow. And the car wire compresses the fragment and provides an extension block for the body fragment. A second car wire is inserted from distal to the proximal across to the DIP joint and just below the tip of the distal phalanx, which transfixes the DIP joint.
acknowledgement and teşekkür. I would like to thank for my great teacher, Professor Dr. Cihangir Titik, who contributed my basic hand surgery knowledge and changed my life.